Hello friends and welcome! You are watching episode number 57 of our Rim World, Rim World, Fort Ranchos Let's Play. My name is Sean and I'm glad that you've chosen to spend some time with me today watching me play video games when we left off the ponds of Fort Ranchos. We're at day 193 and we have a couple of new prisoners. Oh, I still forgot to, uh, still forgot to look and see what the name was going to be for our next, uh, our next prisoners here. There we go. I've got them kind of lined up. All right, so I have a better idea. Is the uh, audio audio messed up on this or something? No, nope, you can hear it. Okay, it's just just real quiet all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but it looks like everybody is uh, staying busy and uh, keeping things going. So no need to. Uh, Worry. I don't know that I was necessarily worried about anything. I'm not sure. I'm just talking, trying to, trying to maintain that discussion that uh, keeps the videos interesting. These poor guys. Does it say? It doesn't say because they're not dead. It doesn't say when they were incapacitated or downed. Oh, we've got so much food. Did I? Um, that's right, I went through and changed some of these food tiles to where they will not be growing food anymore because we have too much food. And they'll start growing things like uh, Devil Strand. Oh, come on. There we go. That's still going to grow Heal Root. I think this one was going to switch over to... Well, which one did I switch then? could have swore I switched this one? There we go. I knew I switched a few of them. Maybe not enough. We'll see. But we have a lot of food right now. We're going to get a couple more ponds here soon. Uh, so I don't want to go crazy um, uh, removing all of the uh, uh, all of the food, but uh, you know, we can definitely afford to reduce the amount of food that we're making. Um, Yang and Jack are pretty busy making dusters and shirts and whatnot. Uh, Yang is a nudist, so he doesn't need to worry about clothing. Psychic drone, nothing we can do about that. Um, uh, visitors, that's cool. From uh, Concord of the Northern Assistans. Somebody that I should try to uh, probably be somebody worth capturing, but we've got a couple of, couple of worthy prisoners lined up here. Hmm. I wonder if she... I never trade with the with these guys that uh, come through with a couple of items to trade. Oops. There we go. Why don't you uh, try trading with Susie there, Hammonds? She only has 97. That's probably one of the main reasons I don't really trade with them, because they don't have any money. So, kind of, what's the point? I could buy some regular medicine? Boring. Why would I buy regular medicine? Um, I don't want any wake-up. I suppose she could have had pinoxycycline on her or something. I'm not going to buy her any of those things. So, there you go. That's why it's not really worth it. Um, huh. That seems like a really lousy price for those assault rifles. How do I have a couple of great bows? I must have gotten those from the uh, from the last raid. All right, well, we'll accept that. A little bit of trading right there. Turn the speed back up. These guys will enjoy their eating. Battery is on the down uh, spiral, and that's because we just don't have enough power coming in. What am I researching? My researching a multi analyzer. Well, that's handy. Probably should do geothermal power next. I know my real goal is um, getting the uh, uh, deep drilling and stuff, but geothermal power probably wouldn't be bad. It would provide us a steadier power supply. Um, you know what? Uh, I keep saying that I should build our workshop. Are we done with our wall repairs? It looks like we actually are. So you know what? Let's finally get around to building that workshop. Structure. What do we have the most of? Slate, I guess, as usual. We're 
gonna need a few air conditioners in there, I suppose. Maybe a door on that side too. Actually, I'll put one there and then I'll go ahead and mine this stuff out. And, uh, oh, I was, uh, one of the reasons I was doing that was so I could build a high-tech research bench, but we already have a high-tech research bench. But you know what? Probably have two. And I think we have enough materials now to where I can tear this one down and not really feel bad about it. So we'll put that. Yeah, I know. Uh, bad temperature. Well, it's also outside. All right. So, you know, give me a break. Hmm. Why did it not build the other one? Space already occupied. That's not true at all. Yep, I get it. Oh, now it's giving me the speed penalty for outdoors. Oh, well, whatever, your majesty. And we want to have temperature right there. Go like that and like that. And these batteries. And we don't want to have them in front of the door anymore. Uh, let's reinstall one of them. I want to have them somewhere where I can have them handy, but they're also going to be undercover and they're not going to be connected to our current network. A lot of uh, a lot of a lot of little demands there, and somewhere where they're not going to get drained by something else. Hmm. Um, let's see what our power current power network looks like. Alright. Yeah, I don't want them to be connected up to those for sure. Looks like maybe along this wall would probably be okay. I would have them undercover for sure. Do I have this paused or something? Or what's going on? There we go. I guess I didn't. Up here is pretty close to where I could connect it up to the network quickly and it's undercover. <clears throat> something I just don't like something about having it up there uh, I guess what I could do is always just like build build the roof out like along there so I could connect it up pretty easily that also means I could pull that battery out but now the batteries are on the decline so I'm not going to be moving it anytime soon I'm going to need to uh, well I don't need to but I'm going to connect the power down along there and then over here so I can hook up those batteries. So I'll build the roof along here and then I'll put the uh, put the spare batteries along this wall which doesn't have a power line running through it, right? You can run power lines like through the middle of this building if it comes down to that. Start filling back up so I can reinstall you. Just right there will do. One of these guys will come and do it. Anytime now. Thank you. Beautiful. And then I can reinstall you just right there so you'll still be connected. Light. Boo. Boo, light. It's funny. It's funny because it was a joke. Alright, you know what? Let's let him plant the stuff that was blighted first. <sighs> that was too bad. Fortunately, we have plenty of food. Rare, a real rarity for me, but you know, I think I'm kind of kind of been won over by hydroponics on this game. Um, I uh, was not, um, I had kind of poo-pooed on them some time ago and said that I wasn't really ever going to build them again. But um, I think that uh, I was wrong, and I have hopefully learned a lesson, that they are good. So don't ever let it be said that I refuse to admit that I'm wrong or made a mistake or something. Why won't it let me do a copy of that? There we go. Uh, because I am not ashamed to admit that I was wrong. This looks really weird, having all the... Uh, not so much having like having these beds this way doesn't seem weird at all. 
by having the other beds that way. Whoops, that's not the one I was wanting to pause. There we go. Why do you have to uh, go off at nighttime, timer? Like, I really don't want to... Uh, I, I like taking my screenshots while, while it's daytime. Oh, I always hit the wrong... Uh, not that it matters, but hit the wrong screenshot key. Nobody, uh, nobody wants to break these guys down. I have people set to do smithing ahead of crafting. This Mewhort coming along. Mewhort's coming along pretty well in the thing too. I mean, even uh, Cameron is set to. Do I have it set to a high? Uh, I probably have it set to a high skill. Does it make a difference? Do you get more components out of it with the higher skill? I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back down to lower skill. Maybe Cameron will take care of it. There we go. Nice job, Cameron. Thanks, buddy. Get all those... That, that good... Uh, whatever you get out of those things. Plasteel. Hmm. We'll just drop it all on the floor. And what is this? This is a partially finished armor vest. Jack's so busy making clothing and stuff, he never has time for uh, for the other stuff anymore. So we get two components for each of these guys that we kill. I guess that's better than no components, huh? I wonder how much plasteel we get out of it. Eight, probably. I guess we won't find out. Hey, come on! 42? Wow. 21. Wow. That's a lot of plasteel. 21 or 42. I should be uh, tearing these apart more often. Who's the who's the good one to do these things? Is it Mewhort? No, I always think it is, but it's Cameron. No, Hammonds. Hammonds is. All right, uh, Hammonds is attempting to recruit Scorpion, so he'll be good for doing that. So if we do health modifications, oh, okay, so we can just do that and not worry about micromanaging it. And these still need to be shut down, right? Got uh, all over the place. We've got these poor little centipedes. I shouldn't feel sympathy for them, but they're so cute. Laying there on the ground, just wriggling around. Sounds weird. Shut down. Add Bill, shut down. There we go, keep going. And another one there. Great. Should cut that cactus down just because it's there. Nobody is uh, doing any gardening. Hmm. Jack, what are uh, you? Cook. And then Taylor, so I kind of need you to do those things. Mewhort, you do a lot of important things too. Also tailoring. And Yang, so do you. It's going to be you, Mewhort. You're our best constructor. Well, it's strange that you're set to hunting. I'm going to take you off of that. I would like you to increase your skills in those other areas, but... Matter of fact, I'm even going to have Jack get into the gardening business just because we have so much gardening going on. Seems like an awful lot for one person to try to stay on top of. Now, it's interesting that this lost so much. Is it. What? You're not supposed to be connected to anything. Oh. Whoopsie. Wow. How. 
how the heck did we run out of power? Probably because we have these power hogs running 24-7. Those things turned off. These use quite a bit of power too, right? Yeah, I mean, not like excessive amounts, but noticeable amounts, that's for sure. Also, removing one of those batteries, you know, it, it wasn't the end of the world, but it was enough to where it uh, uh, destroyed our, uh, you know, our storage, our, our backup power, I guess. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, new recruit, great. And I already looked up a name for them. So that's uh, Scorpion, yep. Yeah. So Scorpion is going to be, where are we at here? We did challenge, we did range, rage. So this is gonna be Tiawa. So uh, I know you wanna do melee, but I'm gonna make you shoot anyway. So it's Tia. Welcome to the colony, Tia. And you're a grower, that's for sure. Fantastic. Um, well, good. So you're gonna. Um, I'm gonna be able to free up somebody else to do. Uh, to not have to worry about growing. I kind of want Muhort to level up in growing, but then Jack is really good for growing too because he's so. Uh, first off, he's really good at it, and uh, also he's slow. So you know what, Muhort, you're off the hook. I want you to level up in constructing, but I don't like that you're so bad at it. Because I might actually try to build some other stuff. Um, I don't want you crafting at all, so... You can do lousy crafting, of course, but and we don't want you researching either. There we go. That's good. Let's say everything else is fine. You would be a competent crafter, or handler, but I'm not going to have you do that. Draconic Rose, oh, you you really get beat up. You're such a nice uh, such a nice person. Like in real life, you you leave so many good comments and everything. And like your pawn is a cleaning specialist. But then, cleaning specialists are among the most valuable members of the colony. To be honest, uh, never undervalue um, or never underestimate how valuable it is to have a clean colony. Uh, that is very very useful, and it, it uh, helps keep people happy and uh, really improves the mood overall so uh, I shouldn't denigrate you being a cleaner I could use a cleaning specialist in my personal life so um, uh, there you go that's how valuable you are you're something that uh, uh, I don't know I'm gonna stop before that gets creepy uh, pirate merchant that means a spaceship pirate merchant which I could use So I definitely want to go talk to them. Um, Draconic Rose, instead of hauling stuff, why don't you go call that pirate merchant? Oh, you know what? You're not... Uh, I mean, you're nice and all, but isn't it Cameron I have that is the highest level uh, social person? Nope. It must be uh, Hammonds. There we go. Hammonds, why don't you call and get that good, good deal from our uh, trading friends? All right, uh, well, I could sell them my slave, but I'm not going to. That gives everybody a negative mood, as among other things. Uh, they have Pinot, though, lots and lots of Pinot. Uh, I think we were down to about 90, so maybe I'll buy 80 of them. <clears throat> it's very expensive, but it's worth it. That will should keep us going for a couple of years. Um, I, I can sell all these cruddy weapons that I don't need. There we go. I don't want to sell those things. I, I can sell that awful duster. Um, sure, get rid of that bad shirt. Why not? Uh, I don't want to sell any of those lousy shields. You don't really have any better shields to offer me. I'm certainly not going to buy a parka from you. Um, all right, looks like that's going to be it. So we're going to lose most of our cash, but that's okay. Uh, you know what? Let's 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 cut that in half. There we go hold on to some of our cash. We're going to probably get some more bionics out here. Let's uh, let's not uh, just hope that they're going to show up. Let's do something about it. Um, request trade caravan. 
exotic goods trader. Okay. Disconnect. And uh, I was gonna, you know what? Let's wait a little bit and then I'll call the next one. That way maybe they'll be staggered between when they show up and everything. Um, so I have a lot of steel. Do I want to try to make some sort of trade good out of that? I don't think so. I, of course, should be trying to make a trade good out of my um, plasteel. On the other hand, I could try to make um, a plasteel royal bed. Uh, well, I can only make one though, right? Yeah, let's go with the trade goods. We'll make some equipment racks. Uh, let's unschedule anybody who's not my best constructor. You're 12, and you're 18. Yeah, I'm gonna just stick with Mewhort. There we go. Um, I've got the plasteel right there, so I may as well build right next to it. Why won't you turn? That's so weird that it does that sometimes. It was doing that earlier. All right, architect. Uh, furniture, yep. Yeah. Plasteel, there we go. Turn, thank you. I don't need to hold down shift. That's a whole nother game where you have to do that. Uh, that's uh, software incorporated that I'm thinking of. And we'll put down, how many is that? Three? Six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one. All right, it's uh, it's amazing how much plasteel you have when you're not making turrets out of it. Same with regular steel too. That's from that's uh, our bounty from all these uh, all these uh, centipedes, all the mechs that we've killed. Got us all sorts of uh, beautiful uh, plasteel and regular steel. Everybody's sleeping except Jack. He's out there just working on his own. Oh! Are we out of regular beds in our normal, in our main housing unit? No, we're not. What, Tia? Why would you choose that as your, as your bed, silly? You're a loner. I guess maybe that's why. Do you have any other... Um, any other quirks that I should be aware of? Character. Jogger and an optimist, yeah. And, um, no, nope, I already changed your name. Uh, any health concerns or anything like that? No, I want to, uh, I want to give you a bionic leg because you're a jogger. But I, I, I'm pretty sure we don't have any. We just have the prosthetics, yeah. In time. Sure, what Cameron was working on there. Let's uh, order, remove plans. Well, since we've got a lot of steel, and I mean, we have a decent amount of wood, but not a lot of wood, um, I'm going to go ahead and make some more. Uh, I'm going to put in our um, benches over here. Oh, it's still outside, is it? Let's take care of that too. Furniture. That's the wrong tab. There we go. So that'll get us our those things. And these are stone cutter tables, yep. Yeah. So we'll put those over here as well. Two of them should be fine. Um and I need a machining table, of course. And uh, what's this? This is a sculptor's table. I think I'm going to leave the... I'll like make this our art workshop or something, because I don't want to take everything out of here. I'm going to go ahead and leave the uh, smelter in here as well. Our smithy, we want to put in just a normal smithy. Smithy, uh, that was not going to... I was going to try to do a... a uh, C. Montgomery Burns thing there, but uh, I had it wrong. Um, storage, clear all, copy, paste. Don't store anything in any of those, you guys. You should know better. Stop trying to put those swords in there. And we'll get 
pretty good money when uh, when uh, when that exotic goods trader shows up. Speaking of, let's call another exotic goods trader over uh, from our friends, the assistants. Exotic goods trader. Okay. Disconnect. Speed that up. Speed that up a bit. Oh, look at all those things. I'll install all of you. Oh, poison ship. You could see that it was a ship landing because it shook the whole screen. Well, that's going to get us some more, um, some more good uh, um, plasteel. Uh, so let's try to look at the positive side of things, right? Where is it at? We have two idle colonists. Holy mackerel. That's crazy. Well, this thing will be pretty easy to take down, too. It's right near our walls. So that's real handy. Um, now, what was I going to... Uh, oh, I was going to try to set up these... Uh, try to set those things up in between episodes. So you know what? Let's not quite... Let's not quite end this episode. That way I can get those things set up in between episodes. Um, I hope you guys... Uh, wait, I shouldn't start saying that because you might tune out. Uh, not that you necessarily need to watch how this uh, ends up, but... Uh, you know, I don't want you to tune out necessarily. All right, let's get those set up. And um, uh, over here, I will uh, will probably want to go with the. Do I want to go with the standard defense, or do I want to try that sniper thing again? The sniper thing worked a lot better last time after I kind of figured it out. How about I do a sort of a, a, a hybrid? Uh, I still do sniper. But I also do uh, like regular, good old-fashioned defenses. Uh, I don't know why I didn't leave a mark there. I believe that was about right, right up here. That'll do. All right, so we'll put put that there, um, and uh, we will go uh, structure marble walls. Mostly this is so we can retreat back into these. I'm not going to put sandbags in there or anything. I'm just going to put those walls there. And uh, we can have our guys stand at the front here. But if they get too close, uh, especially like if a centipede with a uh, uh, one of those flamethrower things gets too close or something like that, uh, that way we can uh, get rid of them that way. So let's get these built up. And then I will set up our bills over here uh, for our uh, sewing items that way uh, we don't have to sit and watch all of that uh, when we get to the next episode uh, all right guys i hope you've enjoyed watching this episode uh, if you had a good time be sure to click the like button and you know leave me a comment or something uh, down below uh, i really appreciate you watching and uh, i hope you'll come back and watch the next episode i will see you then bye